everyone and welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida and here at the Cove we do budgeting, finances, DIYs, planning, minimal planning, all that great stuff. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload content. All right, you guys, so we're going to hop in. So let me start by saying I have not done my weekly. Um, we're doing monthly. I've kind of already pre-planned my monthly um, in the monthly calendar. I actually like to do that off camera because I can kind of really focus. But with you all, I mean, if you'd like to see me do my full monthly like budget routine, let me know. So this was last month. A lot of this, let's, let's go ahead and review. Let's just review. And I'm going to open up to my June calendar. But I'm going to use this new marker here. Um, Uplift got paid, and it wasn't the 5th. It was actually, I think, the 13th. So let me go back. Um, yes, the 13th. So I need to make a note of that. Capital One. Citibank, Barclays, Barclays actually, I think I just gave them like $74. Um, card note number two for the month of May, yep, that got done. T-Mobile, I didn't do T-Mobile, y'all. Let me just X them out. I didn't pay them. That's another story. <laughs> I later found that I could have paid them, but I just kept kind of like spending the money. I'm just being honest. Um, PayPal, they got 50. Car insurance got paid. Um, GoDaddy, Insta Inc., and I have Uplift twice. I kept wondering why I was running out of room. I'm like, I shouldn't be out of room. I haven't added that much new things. So let's go over the income. So we guesstimated 3500 We had two slow weeks, if you remember me doing some weekly budgets, and we ended up getting $3,217. Um, nails, we guesstimated 60 and we ended up getting 95. Um, Norse Cove, we guesstimated 200. We ended up getting $101.45. And then a miscellaneous of 100. Those were some returns on some things I did. So our total ended up being $3,513. Okay, let's move on. And that was me. So let's move on to the month of June. Happy is here, y'all. We are halfway through the year, that means Christmas is right around the corner. So I'm just gonna go down here and highlight, cause I'm gonna try to stick everything on here. Okay, for income, we have hair, which is one, our first source of income, which is like our main source of income. We have nails, y'all, I wanted to stop doing nails this month, but I'm trying to make it to August. That'll be a year that I've restarted and um, I'm on like a three week break right now. So, um, I don't know what I'll make. I'll just put 60 down here for nails because I think by the time they come back, it'll be three weeks. So it'll be the end of June here. We're going to do 3,200. It's summertime. People are going to braids. They're not really getting a lot of hairdos. My natural girls, they're not coming in for blowouts. So we're going to bring that down to 3,200. And then we have Norris Cove. <sighs> Norris Cove. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I don't know. Like, I'm ready to just be a consumer. And I really don't want to give up because I do enjoy making the stickers. I enjoy doing inserts like this. But like I said before in a previous video, I have some budget things planned. So we're going to rock with Norris Cove. I basically have to get on the ball. To make those things happen. So right now I'm just going to leave Norris Cove at $150 guesstimated. And then I'll do miscellaneous. And at the moment we'll leave that at zip. So let's see what we have. That's 380, 480, $530. I mean, $3,580. No, $3,800. Hold on. Let me trying to math trying to math without a calculator oh well that no okay let me just use a calculator <laughs> that 
that's better. 3410. I'm like, what? What in the world? 3410. <clears throat> okay, so now let's start with the bills. I'm gonna start off with the first. We have cloth and paper, um, which is already coming out. And that's $38. Uh, I kind of want to stop next month, but um, June has already come out, so we've already paid that. Because, I don't know, I'm going to sell, matter of fact, I may have a miscellaneous because I want to sell my box. But I've opened everything, so I don't know. Um, Amazon on the 2nd. I'm going to try not to ramble. Um, I think that was $15.89. I ordered some things. Um, community. Uh, what did I give community? I think I gave them 40. Uh, Shopify is due on the 3rd. And I've already have the money in the account for that. And I think that was going to be like $43. It was like $42.89, something like that with the tax. Um, credit one is done. Uh... The next bill will be the 11th. I feel like I'm missing something on <clears throat> the 6th through the 12th. I know I have more than those two bills. Let me go back. That's why I like having a year's worth of inserts in my planner. Sorry about that. So I like to have a year's worth of inserts in my planner so that I can kind of go back and see what happened or if it was something that I missed Canva I have Canva for the seventh so I knew it was something and I don't have it written here so when did I think Canva was coming out so I'm just gonna take this out and put Canva I'm not gonna look for my little stickers right now I'll do that later so Canva and Canva is I think I gave credit one thirty how much is my camera? I think it's thirteen seventy-seven. I'm having a brain fart. Okay, and then on the eleventh, I have car note number one. And let me explain to y'all. I really want to pay my car off, but I want to kind of be to get to the point where I can move my car note number one up to the first of the month. It's really like the second week, but I want to be able to move it up to the first of the month. That's why I tried to pay off so many of those first of the month bills, which I have succeeded in. And um, that way I can be able to pay extra if that kind of makes sense. And then on the 11th, I have Chase, which is a new card. And actually my first bill is only like $40. Um, that's pretty good. Um, next up we have on the 15th, Capital One, and I'm going to do them $50 because I'm so sick of this card. I've had it so long, and I got one increase, and I just keep, I don't know why I keep running up, it ain't about a $500 limit. Um, 17th, we have Citibank, but that card is like my <laughs> tough times card. When things are tough, because you can make a deposit. How can I break it down? You can make a deposit and I have it linked to my bank account and it may take a day for the money to come out, but if I need something, I can get it. And I know because I get paid on a daily basis, I know I can have that money there to cover it. If that, you know, if you understand that. Um, Citibank, and then Citibank gave me an increase, y'all. I guess that was that good paying everything off, but I, I'm not even going to use it. I ain't even going to use it. Okay, Barclays, they're the highest one. We're just going to put 80 for them because we don't know how this month is going to go. And then on the 21st, we have our second car note, car note number two. And that is 181.60. And then the 28th, I feel like something's missing. I know I've paid a lot of stuff off, but... I feel like something's missing. It is missing. Um, car insurance is on the 28th at 2.06. And I just realized um, I need, I had a big sticker here. On the 21st, we have T-Mobile. But actually, I have them on the 19th 
I'm gonna put a slash here. The 19th, I'll make a note over here because I just set up arrangements for that amount, but the total will be like 418 for the month, okay? Should have paid it when I had it. Um, and then the last bill of the month is GoDaddy. That is my email connected to my website, and that's $7.41. Now, I'm going to do a little comparison because I just feel as though I'm missing something. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like there's a bill that I'm forgetting. Let's see. Let's go over this. Oh, Uplift. Because Uplift is new, I can't believe I didn't put Uplift. Uplift, that's due on the 13th. And I think that's around, let me see. Uplift, I just put 40. So we give them 40. I'm gonna try to pay that off soon. And let me make a note in my calendar about Uplift on the 13th. Okay. I'll come back in with the little cute little stickers later if that's the case. Um, let's see what else I may have missed. Uh, we did credit one. Oh, Walmart. I paid off Walmart last month. Hallelujah. So I don't owe that. Um, Capital One, Citibank, Barclays. I'm getting these credit cards down. I'm knocking them down. PayPal. PayPal. <clears throat> I forgot PayPal and Insta Inc. Yeah. PayPal. I'm going to give them 50 and PayPal is due on the 25th. Did I pay them? I don't even know. I got to double check. And Insta Inc. is due, I think, on the 11th. Insta Inc. is on the 15th. And that's $20. It's like $19, but... We'll just put 20, and I'm just going to come over here and put Insta Ink. I think I didn't finish this calendar. That's what it was, y'all. I didn't finish this calendar. Um, that's why I'm having to add stuff. Okay, let's do a little totaling. I want to double check to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. T-Mobile, PayPal. Okay. Like, I just looked at my PayPal statement today because I wanted to purchase something, but I'm going to double check it. So I'm going to add these up and be right back. Okay, you guys, so the total is $2,495.27. So let me tell you what I did forget. As I was calculating, I realized I forgot booth rent. And there's no date to that. But for the month, I pay $1,000. So I've added that into that. And so again, that's $2,495. Twenty-seven. Okay, so let's do a little subtracting because I realized something like this time last year I got back into my cash envelopes and I was really making a point to stick to it because I wanted some, you know, extra change for Christmas. And so cash stuffing is coming back. Uh, let's see, 34 10. So that leaves us with $914.73. So, I want to be able to put $100 in savings. Now I'm 14. This is just a guesstimate. I want to be able to give um, Christmas at least 100. So that makes it 814.73. 
Um, it was something else that I wanted to put in. I definitely know I want to do the Christmas fund and e-fund. I want to at least have 100 in there as well. So we're going to take 200. That makes it 614.73. Cash envelopes. I'm doing 100 for groceries. Well, I need to do actually 200 for groceries. And that leaves 414.73. Because there'll be some other things. And again, this will be like a little cushion. If you are new here, I am not a zero-based budgeter. I would love to be, would love to be. <laughs> but because my income is inconsistent, I have to guesstimate my numbers. Um, I like to leave this little cushion Sometimes this does not just come out the way I want it to, but I want to be able to um, leave a little cushion just in case things go south. Like I could end up making just 3,000 for the month. And as you can see, there's a 334.10 here, and then there's 414. So if I was to take this away from that, that would leave me 3,000. So I would at least get my bills in. So bills are gonna get paid, okay? bills are going to get paid that cell phone i needed i needed for business so i don't know why i did that to myself but oh so while i'm at it i'm going to mark off the things that i've already paid and that has come out cloth and paper amazon communities come out i'm waiting on shopify i've paid this well shopify is there so all i'm waiting on are these things so Let's hope for a good June budget wise. I do apologize again for being late with the budget. But I just had so much going on. And then I have good weeks where I'm just like, yay, I'm, I'm energetic and pumped and money's good and I'm focused. And then I have those weeks where I'm just not as focused. And this week was just one of them. I just wasn't focused, but I really tell you this planner here is what keeps me accountable because I can do my budgeting in here as well on the go so like when things come up I write them in here and then like see I have everything in this count <laughs> I have everything in here um all my bills listed in here this is what I should have pulled out oh that reminds me I didn't put Netflix, but I just sent my husband the money for Netflix. It's only like $30, $25. So there's no need to put that there. But yeah, so this is my June budget. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, again, if this is your first time watching and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that you can come back for more content like this. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.